Hello, I'm Dave Moore here with PITC and today we're going to be going over the testing procedure for a pressure vacuum breaker. The pressure vacuum breaker that we're going to be testing today is a Febco 765. The first thing we do when we start our test is we're going to flush and clear any debris out of our test box. We're then going to remove the bonnet of our pressure vacuum breaker so we can observe our air inlet. The next thing we're going to do in this test is connect our high hose to test cock number two. The first test we do on a pressure vacuum breaker is we test the opening point of our air inlet. Our air inlet must open before one PSI because the spring tension that we have on our air inlet valve is a one pound spring minimum. So we're first going to pressurize our gauge and bleed. Once we've bled our gauge, we're going to isolate our device and we're going to slowly open the needle valve on the low side of our gauge. We're then going to observe the pressure at which our air inlet valve opens. Our air inlet valve opened at 2.8 psi. As we said earlier in the video, we have a minimum opening point of 1 psi. This would be recorded as a pass. We're then going to close our test cock remove our high hose from test cock number two and place it onto test cock number one. We're going to re-establish pressure in our device and we're going to re-establish pressure in our gauge. I'm going to bleed any air out and we're going to move on to the next test of our device. The next test on a pressure vacuum breaker is testing our check valve in forward pressure or our pressure differential across our check valve. We do this by opening up test cock number two. Again, we have a minimum spring on test cock, or our check valve of one PSI, so our gauge must hold above one PSI constant for two minutes. Right now our gauge is holding at 2.4 PSI, so this would re be recorded as a pass as long as it held constant for two minutes. We're then going to close our test cocks, remove our high hose, and return our device to service. 